Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to uh, prepare your uh, sketch lettering before we go to vectorization. So for that, we're going to use Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop CS6, which should be fairly the same if you're using Photoshop CC. Okay, so let's start. We're going to go with File, Import, and we're going to pick uh, Images from Device. So for that, you have to have a scanner connected to your computer. So I have a an HP scanner, which is a Wi-Fi scanner. Uh, and if it's uh, correctly plugged in or recognized by, by your computer, Photoshop should recognize it as well. So let's go with that. You have a little box here, and you can see that I already have a uh, a drawing here but we're going to do it all over again so i can show you okay so uh, you can see here i have my hp nv 110 series scanner it's a very cheap scanner like 100 euros maybe less uh, don't go with anything too fancy just pick something that uh, can scan with a fairly high resolution when i say high it's like more than 600 dpi okay so uh let's go i'm going to go with this little button here so my photoshop is in french but uh it should be something like preview okay so click preview and your drawing is going to show up uh here on this space and actually we're just previewing you are not scanning Okay, we're done. So you can see that there is like a smart selection here. I recognize every uh, illustration that is worth scanning. So we are going to resize it to what we want because we don't want to scan the whole thing. If we scan the whole thing, it's going to take a lot more, a lot more time and we don't want all the, all the mess that is going on here. We only want this little part here. Okay. So. I'm going to drag those handles like this, drag those handles and just select a little bit more than you want. Okay. And before we scan the thing, we're going to mess a little with uh, those settings here. So first thing you need to do, okay. It, uh, you have uh, multiple options here. You have text, black and white color. Uh, we don't need color actually here, so we're gonna stick with black and white. Resolution, is, uh, it's the, the preciseness of the drawing. Go with as high as possible because, uh, you want to catch as much detail as possible. To me, you can see that it's, uh, 1200 dpi. PPP here means dpi. Um, try to stay above this preferably above this 600 but whatever you do go above 300 so i'm going to go with the maximum for my scanner this we don't have to uh, take care of it's it, it's this thing N uh, this is uh, the folder where you're going to uh, uh, save the numerized the scanned uh, piece of drawing so i'm going to switch I'm going to go with, I'm going to create a new file. Okay. Go with, select your new file. Okay. The name of the file. The format, this is important. Uh, TIFF, okay, we, uh, we have multiple options. You have to know that JPEG, uh, PNG, JPEG 2000 uh, are formats that compress your drawing a lot so you'd rather go with either pdf but i don't really like working with pdf or tiff which is uh it's compressed there is some level of compression but it's not as compressed as a jpeg okay so uh pick tiff it's the the closest to reality that you will get but this will uh, also be heavier so if you have uh, if you don't have a lot of space left on your computer, be aware that uh, this file format takes a lot of space. Okay, so we are done with our presets and we can go here. So I don't know on 
in Photoshop in English should be something like scan or numerize, okay? So you click that, and if you have a big portion, you might as well go and brew yourself a cup of coffee. Okay, so the vectorization is done. The scan is here. Uh, so now we're going to adjust it to our needs. So you can see that this is not in the right direction. So I have a little trick to uh, fix that. You just like you just go like double click on this layer. You just hit CMDT or Control T to transform it. You rotate it. Uh, you can uh, keep the uh, shift key uh, pressed so you will not go with weird things like that okay okay this is good you go with image uh, it should be something like show all okay go back with image and you will trim transparent pixels there you go okay so you have a drawing here and you want to prepare it uh, for vectorization or maybe for another uh, sketching run but uh, more precise okay so we are going to clean up this whole thing because it's not really ready for anything okay so uh, I have uh, little things that I like to do and I'm going to share those with you today so the first thing we need to do is to create uh, a few guides here and here so as you can see to create guys I click here my rulers if your rulers doesn't don't show if your your Photoshop looks like that you hit CMDR or control R you click here on one ruler you drag your ruler here so you can see that it's pretty straight it's not perfect but it's pretty straight okay so now what we want to do is to uh, make this whole thing a little more contrasted so we can work better on it so uh, for that we're going to use a, a little adjustment layer uh, that is called threshold we're going to put it above a drawing and this is going to separate uh, white pixels from black pixels so you go here and you select a threshold okay and this should uh, give you something like this and you're going to be able to tune it like this okay so what we want to do is really uh, make something uh, that is that makes the drawing fairly black and keeps the back uh, fairly white, like this. Okay, and you have something like that, and you're going to be able to adjust it. If you put between those, you can put a layer, a level layer. And you can push a little the whites like this and push a little the blacks don't do it too much that should do it okay so now what we want to do is to clean it up a little so what you can do to be non-destructive uh, there are multiple ways to do it one that I like is to create a new solid color layer behind the whole thing so we make it black uh, we make it white put it behind go on our drawing here and add a mask on it and this mask we're going to paint with black on it and it's going to act as a, an uh, eraser but in fact it's not going to erase anything it's going to keep everything it's just it's just going to mask it okay so how it works uh, you can paint in either black, white, or uh, gray, and uh, the closer to black, the more it will block everything, so it, it will hide everything. White reveals it, so black hides, white reveals, and gray, depending on the uh, on the um, uh, the darkness or, or the lightness of the of the uh, the gray, it will either reveal or hide. Okay, so you you just take your paintbrush, not your eraser, your paintbrush. You're going to make it hard, like this, and uh, opacity 100%, and going to pick a perfect uh, black. So if you don't have a black here, you go just D, and you do X to put your black on top like this. Okay, so we're going to start painting on it. So we want to remove all 
the little defects here so you can zoom in and you remove all the things that you don't want to appear. And if the paintbrush is too thick, just go here and select a more a more uh, thin brush. Okay, so as you can see, here I'm removing the uh, the fairly basic guidelines I drew to help me because I want to be able to see clearly. And if you realize, for example, if you make a mistake like, whoops, you did something like that, you just push X, puts the white on top, and you just paint over, and like magic, it's, gonna, it's going to reappear, okay? So back to black, I'm going to remove all the things that I don't want because I want to be able to see the shapes that I drew uh, clearly because I want to be able to uh, redraw above this and not be confused by all the lines. And as you can see, this was obviously a sketch. So this is not going to vector anytime soon. This is really my first sketch that I'm going to reprint uh, at a bigger scale. I'm going to reprint it at a bigger scale to redraw over it a more uh, clean version and I'm going to iterate. This is a method that I really enjoy. It's like you you do really uh, nasty sketches like this and you uh, you scan them, you clean them up, you print them in big, uh, big version and you redraw on them, etc, etc. And you do as many iteration as you need to have something that suits you. But this is a nice way to keep the things that you liked from your sketches and to uh, have them in a clean way without having to redraw everything. So as you can see, this is quite nice. And uh, you can see here that I have this line, but it's not totally filled. Maybe we can, uh, we can do something about it, but okay, we have something interesting, but our guides don't really reflect the real thing. So what we can do, you can totally do stuff like this. So we could use a uh, fluidity, but it's not going to be very easy with something like this. So you can go pick this little parts here, maybe do something like, like this. I would do something like this, actually put a guide here, take those and you move them up. Of course you have the hidden parts, so you have you will have to change that, go back to white. Like this. Make them reappear. It's really useful to use a mask instead of an, er uh, an eraser. We could not do that if we had used an eraser instead of the mask with the brushes. So you see here, we have those things here aligned nicely. And we're going to fill this part here. So we're going to put another layer here. Take, a re uh, take the pen brush filled with black. And here we're going to really paint roughly to fill this area. So this is really how I do uh, my lettering when I'm done with the sketch and I really like the sketch because you know when you when you're drawing, when you're sketching, you have this energy. You have this energy in your hand that is really difficult to replicate when you're drawing much slower. And I want to capture that. And since I want to capture capture that, I uh, like to scan my sketches, even my tiny sketches when I like them. I really want to capture this uh, very raw uh, thing, raw emotion. Okay, so we've filled some of the 
the spaces that needed the filling and you can see that we really uh, can tell there is a difference but it's okay because as you zoom out you can really not tell the differences and uh, the whole point is to have something to have a whole form a whole shape that you can uh, play with so Another thing I like to do is to have uh, more space around my, my drawing because it helps uh, to, when you have a lot of space around it, it helps you uh, look at it uh, with uh, more perspective. It's really difficult to assess if this is working when it's not in, uh, within like a true document. So we're going to, I'm going to go with a, my dribble setting here and going to drag it out and since we had the the solid white layer behind it's going to stay white and this is why i love working with a solid uh color layer so okay just going to press enter and there we go we have all of our our layers here and this works nice so this is quite nice uh, i can see there are a lot of room for improvement but i have something that is clean uh, i could really work with as you can see here you can really work with it and uh, i'm going to be able to print this and to rework on this so what i would do is uh first i'm going to save it and since we chose tiff we're going to be able to save it and save all of our layers because uh, TIFF format supports layer. So I'm going to just, just press CMD, control on our PC, S, uh, compression, uh, image compression. I just, I usually keep the th settings just the way they are. Either look it up or go with the, the default settings. I, I, I really don't know. Okay tells you that uh, having a, a file with uh, multiple layers makes it bigger. We know that, so okay, that will do it. And now I'm going to go with File, Print. Okay, I'm going to use uh, A4, but uh, panoramic view, and I'm going to make it larger. So I'm, here I am pressing the Shift and the Alt key so it will uh, stay uh, keep the same ratio and so it will uh, grow from the center point so i'm going to go with something fairly big not too big because i want to add letters after that and uh, this is where you can go with print or i'm doing this because i have a light table and i'm going to place another, another uh, sheet of paper over it but maybe uh, you want to go with something uh, that is not as dark. So if you do, uh, just cancel that, select all the layers, group them, CMDG, and bring the opacity down to maybe 50 or 30%, and this will give you something much grayer, not as dark, okay? So back here, print, you go here, Make it the size you want. Maybe center it out or don't if you don't want. And you can press print. And it will output your uh, piece of lettering with a lot of detail. And uh, all the fixing that you've done uh, will be... You, will, you won't see all the things that will clogging your, uh, your sketch. And you will be able to work with it uh, from that point. So this is uh, really a technique that you can use uh, as well when you are scanning a uh, drawing that you just inked. And this will be uh, much faster because you, supposedly you have a clean drawing, you have a clean inked drawing. And with that clean ink drawing, you're, you're going to be able to clean it up and then import it directly to Illustrator to do a very clean and smooth vectorization. So thank you for following this tutorial and see you next time.